Welcome to the video tutorial on using the Press Shop customer loyalty and reward points. So here we are, we're already logged in to Press Shop. I'm going to go ahead and go to the module for it. And um, in uh, my demonstration here, I already have the module installed. So price rules, marketing. If you have a brand new install of Press Shop uh, 1.6, you'll see all these modules here and you'll see the install option for these two options down here which I have already installed. So in this case, customer loyalty and rewards, uh, it's installed already. I'm going to click on configure. And I wanted to show a demonstration of it basically, or just basically go over it real quick, the different pieces of it, because it's pretty straightforward. Um, when you do a reward program, basically what you're doing is you're allowing your customers to benefit from using your store or buying things from your store. So if you decide that you want to set up a program like that, you're going to need to sit down and think about how you want to uh, award points to your loyal customers. So if they buy $10 of your product, then in this case, you can see there's a ratio here of $10 for one reward point. And um, they also have a, um, a monetary value for that point. So in this case, it's only 20 cents on the dollar for the discount. And then there's a validity period here, which allows you to set how long the point will be valid. If you don't have an expiration date, then you just set to zero, which is the default value here. You can also name the program, and um, they also call it a voucher in this case. And we're just calling it loyalty reward, which is the actual default, again, the default value for that particular field. And you can also set a minimum amount before the voucher can be used. You can apply tax on it, which I have set. Again, this is the, the default values. You can also determine when the uh, points are rewarded, awarded to a person who's using it, your store. So in this case, it's set to delivered. So if they purchase a product and they purchase $10 a product and you say, I'm going to go ahead and give you an award point for it or reward point for it, um, it's not going to be awarded to them until it's, the product is delivered. And there's also an option here which allows you to cancel reward points. So if I say the user says, I'm just going to return the product, if they cancel the order, then the points are canceled as well. You can uh, change these options here by clicking on the drop down arrows, and you can see all the different op options you can set it to. You can also give points on discounted products and you can say yes or no to that. So if you have a sale going on already and you don't want to give a discount um, using these vouchers, so you would say no. But you can also say yes and say sure you can use your reward points wherever and, and um, whenever. At the bottom here you can see that they have an option to select what areas of your store. And I have a default store here loaded. And you can, and everything is selected here. So there, there are no areas where I can't use the reward points. But if you are, want to be selective about it, you can go in here and check or uncheck the areas where they can't use the reward points. So I'm going to go into the store as a user, and I've, I've already signed in in this case. And what I wanted to show here, real quick, was to show you where you would actually see the reward points as a customer. Because it's kind of important for you as an administrator to kind of know where they would actually be seeing that. So we're going to demonstrate how that how this um, reward point um, progresses as they buy a particular item. So we're going to go ahead in here and uh, buy a t-shirt or a dress. Let's we'll buy a couple t-shirts and see how it adds up here. Or if we even have any. Let's go to the dresses. Probably a little easier here in this demonstration store. Here we are. So I'm going to buy this printed dress, which is $50. Add to cart. I'm going to go ahead and proceed to checking, checkout. And um, we're going to go ahead and, and set this up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and use the default values that have been set already. You can see that this particular customer already has a voucher, so this section right here allows you to make use of it. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and proceed the checkout because I'm just trying to check out and show you how you can actually get a uh, voucher by, or a reward point when you make a purchase. 
So here I'm gonna check out. Everything seems to be okay here. Um, Create a service service, proceed to check out. I'm gonna say pay by wire. And I confirm my order. So it says that the order is complete, and then it gives you all these things here to make sure that, that those sides are ready. So I'm going to go back into the administrator, and I'm going to the order that I just made. Look for that, Roman. So I'm basically going to approve it real quick. And here's the order, $52.99 for that print address uh, from John or Jane Doe. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the order. And we're going to say it's delivered. And before actually, I'm setting this right now to say it's delivered so it's completed. But before we do that, let's go back to what the customer is looking at on their end. Let's say they decide to look at their profile or their, their account. So we need to see their account here. They click on their name. And you can see it says my account here. And if you look around on their items here, you can see where it says my loyalty points. So if you click on my loyalty points, you can see the orders that have been done. And you can see that I have a, uh, an order here where it was already converted. We just made an order today. And you can see that it says awaiting validation. So this right here this status indicates that the points are still not available yet because the order still hasn't been delivered. Now, if I convert it to delivered in the administrator and I update the status here, it's delivered. Uh, we could actually say um, payment accepted as well. And delivered okay so I updated everything here to make sure that the um, the order is completed and we can go back here and then we can just reload the screen it should update the points as well and now you can see it's available and there you go that's the use of um, the uh, my loyalty uh, reward points and an excellent way to really reward your customers your your favorite customers they'll come back because you're giving them a discount. So make use of it if you can. Thanks for listening and have a good day.